This is our five. Surprise, bitch. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. Hey guys, George Alexander here, and today we are watching The Crown Season 4, Episode 5. Last episode was a really great episode, I enjoyed it, it was lots of relationship building, lots of discovering of relationships, particularly mother and father, mother and daughter, daughter and son. Um, I really, really enjoyed it, there were some great scenes between um, Olivia Coleman and her children. Um, we've also now discovered that Diana is pregnant. Well, not discovered. Obviously, we we're aware that she's pregnant, but this was the first time of us seeing she was pregnant, of course, with William. So I'm excited to see if we get to... I think they are in this, I believe. Well, they must be, because I think this goes up to the 90s. Um, so we will see William and Harry in this. Also, of course, the end of the episode, there are ships are off to the Falklands for the beginning of the Falkland War. So I'm really interested to see where this next episode goes. And without further ado, let's get into it. Here's episode five. Enjoy. A royal ruckus has started over the man who had an audience with Queen Elizabeth. Oh yeah, this is the guy that climbed into her bedroom. bedroom in the middle of the night. The man had cut himself on a broken window and left blood stains on the Queen's bed. Yesterday's intruder was able to get through an elaborate system of electronic alarms, as well as past palace guards and police. Me again. Name? Michael Fagan. Any work in the past two weeks? Every fortnight I come in here, and every fortnight you ask me the same question. Any work in the past two weeks? I chaired the Olympic Committee. <laughs> then I did a few days as Secretary General of the United Nations. Next. This is ex-wife or girlfriend or fiance. What are you doing? I told you never to come here. I need to talk to you about a flat. Well, not tonight, Michael. How the kids? They're fine. Now go. I hope you rolled out the red carpet. Why would I do that? Everyone was against us going to the Falklands, but she believed we could pull it off, and now victory is within sight. In her victory. And she's finally doing what we've been waiting years for someone to do. Which is? Lead this country firmly and decisively after years of incompetence and mismanagement. Gloves on. We've identified and prepared a few suitable members of the general public <laughs> for you to meet. Mm -hmm. But no questions, no actual conversation. Uh, no, ma'am. Right, let's, let's get this over with. <laughs> the cleanliness was next to God's house. No, again. Name? Uh, Bond, James Bond. Any work in the past two weeks? International espionage agent, you know, intelligence work, counterintelligence, assassination. Twat. I've got a question for you. Who's your boss? I want to make a complaint. If you feel you've been treated unfairly, please speak to your member of parliament. You can refer you to the parliamentary ombudsman. Oh. Ugh. You know you're the fucking twat. While your process with the rest of the economy works its way through, and one of the consequences appears to be very high unemployment, unemployment which is rising. No, it's a, can I put it this way? It's like a nurse looking after an ill patient. Which is the better nurse? The one who smothers the patient with sympathy says, never mind, dear, there, there, you just lie back, I'll bring you all your meals, I'll bring you papers, there, there, you just lie back, I'll look after you. Or the nurse who says, now, come on, I'll just shake out of it. I know you had an operation yesterday, it's time you put your feet to the ground and took a few steps. That's right, dear, that's right. Now get back and take a few more tomorrow. Which do you think is the better nurse? <laughs> the fact that this isn't made up for the sake of the series is just like the most like although i do believe reading that i know a lot of people and i think they've said it in this is that he crawled over and had a conversation with her for 10 minutes but what actually happened was as soon as he came in she she ran out <laughs> i mean it must have just been by luck that he well actually i don't know what happened i'm like if he ends up in her bedroom or if he goes looking for her. <laughs> it's 
so big there was nobody in that that wing. <laughs> Chris, Chris. So this must be the night then that it happens. Excuse me, which bit stop is um it for the Queen's bedroom, please? Just this one, sir. <laughs> this guy's probably made up that he's um, clocking off now. Be like, oh, actually, it happened at this time, so it was actually you who was. Um... It was your fault, <laughs> not mine. I just clocked off. What are you doing? It's still too early. Right, you insist. This is like crazy. Who are you? M my name is Michael. Out, get out! I promise you, you have nothing to fear from me. I care very deeply indeed. What do things say? Don't do that. Now please. I'm stupid. Don't you dare touch me! Hello, help! Stop it! Just. Give me a minute, will you? Sort myself out. I'll say what I've got to say and then I'll go. <laughs> no, you don't. Everyone you meet's on best behaviour. Bowing and scraping. That's not normal. And this is normal? It could be. If I ever calm down. The richest woman in the world. But look, it's not even electric. What? Your toothbrush. Well, that's the thing about this place. It's even posher than you'd think. And yet more run down. Run down? Oh, yeah. Corridors and state rooms. Shocking. Who? Thatcher. She's destroying the country. We've got more than three million unemployed. That's more than at any time since the Great Depression. Doesn't that bother you? Yes, it bothers me greatly. But there's nothing I personally can do about it. Mm. When you've been in my position as long as I have, you see how quickly and how often a nation's fortunes can change. Joblessness, recession, crises, war, all of these things have a way of correcting themselves. But the state can help with all of this. What state? The state has gone. She's dismantled it, along with all the other things we thought we could depend on growing up. A sense of community, a sense of you know, obligation to one another, a sense of kindness. It's all disappearing. You may think you're off the hook, but she's got her eye on your job too. Let me tell you, you'll be out of work soon. <laughs> Let me assure you, Mrs. Thatcher is an all too committed monarchist. Yeah, but she has an appetite for power, which is presidential. And in this country, a president and a head of state cannot coexist. Mark my words, she's put us out of work. True. She's quietly putting you out of work. Is there anything else you'd like to say to me? Thank you. No. Thank you. Don't touch her. It's all right. Ooh, it is me. I shall bear in mind what you've said. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. She never touches anyone without gloves on. Oh. Mr. Fagan. Is another matter. Two different doctors have reached the conclusion he is suffering from a schizophrenic illness. If he is spared criminal prosecution on account of his condition, then a nice, secure mental hospital will nice. ensure he will not be a danger any longer. Now, if you will excuse me. A victory parade? Yes, ma'am. We have just won a war. Friendship was like, hello, in the first episode, now it's like... She's pissed. Dare we go. The music. 
music. Oh, allowing his arrest, my government was committed to death to Park Lane, Man Hospital in Liverpool. There we go. He served three months. He continues to live in London. How funny. Okay, guys, so that was a really good episode and, you know, very different to what we'd seen before. I think it was really nice because it focused on somebody else other than the royals. Of course, the Queen was involved in Margaret Thatcher as well, but to have that um, new person, new perspective, and to see what was going on in the streets in that time for people and that sort of situation, I think, really just gives you an idea of, of what it was like to be there, you know, having somebody's real-life story be told. And the fact that it was a real-life person as well you know makes it like even more interesting you think oh my god this actually happened so yeah really good the actor was brilliant um and Livia Coleman was fantastic as well but that scene between them when he shook her hand and she didn't have the glove on I thought was was pretty you know powerful it made me a little choke up a bit I was like Whew. and of course at the end there we saw an even further distancing between the Queen and Margaret Thatcher so I'm really just it interests me to see their dynamic and how it started at the beginning to how it's gone now so I'm really excited to see how they further that relationship and how the breaking of that relationship develops but yeah a brilliant episode great to see as I say what was life was like on the ground as it were in those times because we get caught up in the high um, class areas and also great to see um, one of the like, most famous things that happened to the Queen in a sense um, with the break-in so yeah another great episode Okay, guys, thank you much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe on the social description box below. And yeah, until next time, see ya.